I mean, as you probably know, you know that the online market is super saturated. So you have to find a way to differentiate yourself. And a good way to do that is to find, you know, alternative resources that you can use to, to help further your online clients' lives, just like you would your in-person clients' lives, right? Yeah, true. My goal with this podcast is to connect you with the very people that have positively impacted my life and will continue to allow you to create a holistic and limitless perspective on yours. This is D Foss and welcome to the LT360 podcast. So my guest today is a fellow personal trainer, also a fellow Floridian. He, hey. Yeah, there you go. Sunny South Florida. He is the creator of the Movement Club. He is a mace specialist, and um, you guys may know him as the Movement Coach on Instagram and many other platforms. His name is Josh Evans, and I want to welcome him to the show today. So what have you been up to today? Just give us a little look into uh, COVID-19 lifestyle from from your perspective. (laughs) Yeah, well, first off, I want to say thank you uh, for having me on uh, your podcast. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. as far as what I've been doing day to day with uh, my business and my life since all this lockdown stuff happened, I got to say, man, I've been pretty blessed. I have been able to stay really busy with my training clients, with my one-on-one clients. I've mm-hmm. uh, been training them through FaceTime or in person, but, you know, keeping, Just- keeping that social distance that you need to have, you know, wearing, wearing a mask when I need to. Uh, doing a lot of outdoor training so that's been good been able to work on my tan the yep. weather's been good here so it's been beautiful out dude super lucky yeah i mean we've been we've been really lucky it sucks that we've been stuck inside but you know it's all it's all for a better cause um been doing a lot of computer work been really working on a lot of the back end stuff for my website the movementcoach.com uh been doing a lot of stuff for the movement club my weekly workout subscription uh service been building out a lot of new content on the back end of that resources for people. Mm-hmm. I give weekly office hours uh, that you know the members can attend and ask personal questions about their nutrition, health, recovery, the workouts themselves, whatever they might have. So, been trying to figure out better ways to be able to implement that uh, into the website. What um... trying to dive. Go ahead. Sorry to interrupt. With the the office hours, is that like you're conducting like a live on Instagram or Facebook or something and people can just tune in and ask questions? Yeah, right now I'm doing it through Zoom. So I I drop an email to everyone every Thursday, uh, everyone that's part of the subscription service. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you're you're welcome to join, you know, ask questions, Mm -hmm. uh, whatever you have going on, any problems or concerns that you may have about your health and fitness you know i, I want to use that opportunity as a way to, to help uh, our you know. that's an that's an awesome idea and i've been um listening on the back end like drives to work and stuff like that because i'm still super busy during the day at yeah. the gym with clients you know working on back end stuff as well so i've been listening to uh gary v's tea time tea time with gary v okay. doing this yeah i love gary. yeah super i mean just he knows what he's talking about, man. He just gives yeah. it super cool stuff. But um, so that's a cool concept. It's very similar, right? You're just offering help and advice to anybody who's out there looking for it. That's cool. right. Well, and I think it's super important that, you know, you as an online fitness coach, you're able to provide alternative resources to your, your member base other than just, you know, the workouts themselves. Because I mean, as you probably know, you know that the online market is super saturated. So you have to find a way to differentiate yourself. And a good way to do that is to find, you know, alternative resources that you can use to to help further your online clients' lives, just like you would your in-person clients' lives, right? True. I think I think the the way to differentiate is to like show that you give a shit, right? So something as simple as like office hours. Hey, I want to talk to the people who are actually, you know, entrusting in me because most of the saturation with the online fitness community is people that just want to spit out 
you know, wads of the day to their clients and right. go chill on the beach, you know, and they don't, right. it's not really their passion, their drive. They're not looking to really help people. They're just right. looking to make money on the fact that a lot of people don't know how to go about fitness. Yeah. I mean, which is fine, right? So if you're, if you're a trainer, if you're a trainer and that's the amount of effort that you want to put into your business and, and that's the service and product that you want to deliver to your clients and, and to your member base, then that's fine, right? If you can find people that are, you know, willing to put in minimal effort and see, you know, minimal results because you don't, you don't get much results when you don't put in a lot of effort, then, you know, so be it. Like all for those people, the types of people that I am looking to work with are a lot more motivated. Uh, they may have their own issues, right? Like no one is, no one is perfect. I'm not perfect. I have things that I work on on a daily basis. Uh, my members are the same, but they're, it's a different type of person, right? Someone that is, you know, re really, really ready to take that next step in their life and really ready to, you know, look at themselves in the mirror, assess the things that they need to change or improve in their, their lives and, their, and in their habits. And, you know, really then piggyback off of that and, and take action right that's the that's the biggest thing is like taking action not being able not being afraid to make mistakes you know because that's what i'm here for right is to help these people correct their mistakes help these people understand health and fitness better right through office hours i have my uh private member only facebook group uh for the movement club so you know every week uh, when i post these workouts i pick specific movements that I want people to post in the Facebook groups and then I give them specific feedback so that they can improve. Right. So I really want to take it a step farther. I'm really looking to make a huge impact in people's long-term success and health, mm -hmm. right? Not just, you know, work up a sweat and get your heart rate up and breathe heavy. Yeah. You know, anyone, anyone can really do that, man, but it takes, takes a real coach to be able to, you know, make a positive, long-term, sustainable change in someone's life. That's a good point. And, and it, it's an awesome way to go about it is through just general movement, right? Because a lot of people think fitness is about waking up and being sore the next day. They think it's about drenching yeah. with sweat. They think it's about, you know, getting your Gatorade in or, or your electrolytes and your aminos and your protein right after. It's, right. There's so much more to it. And just the healthy overall perspective that, moving efficiently brings to you you can align so many other parts of your life when you really focus on that minute detail which especially with something like a mace right you you get exposed which i think is yeah. you know a reason that you love it for sure right yeah i mean listen sweating and getting your heart rate up are byproducts of the work that you're putting in sure. right like Sweating, sweating it shouldn't be your your gauge on you know how much you love a workout right it should be how well do you feel during it how well do you feel after in the effects that it brings to you right sweating is just your body trying to regulate your temperature that's it you know so i think with us having conversations like this, it'll allow people to kind of learn more, really learn yeah. what's important and, and the things that they need to start thinking about in order to really make those healthy changes. Yeah. Long term. And it's, you know, these conversations are a result of, from what I know, is just putting in the hours of learning the craft, the skill, the understanding of the physiological benefits the adaptations all of those different things so i want to jump into kind of like how you got into that how did um that play out were you a kid that you know loved sports were you playing sports your whole life what what happened in high school that made you go to college for that certain stuff so right. how, what was your childhood like where did you grow up um so I grew up in a very small town in upstate New York, maybe 90 miles north of Syracuse. So like, like real, real upstate New York, you know, like right on the Canadian border, right to the right of Lake Ontario, uh, you know, 1800 people, you know, very low income. So, and, and me personally, I wasn't the most popular kid, you know, I was overweight, uh, in my town, there's a lot of, you know, fourth fifth sixth generation families my family wasn't one of those so 
I always kind of felt like an outsider looking in a little bit. Plus, you know, my interests were a little different than a lot of those uh, people I went to, to high school with. You know, they wanted to party and, you know, drink and yeah. do drugs and all that stuff. And that, you know, I knew that I needed to get out of there to really, you know, get to where I wanted to go in life, to be successful, to, to you know, be able to make the impact that I wanted to make in the world. I knew that staying in that small town wasn't going wasn't gonna to be it. Um, so, you know, I went to Syracuse for, for my undergrad and then FAU, uh, for grad school, Florida Atlantic, shout out owls and orangemen. Uh, that's how I got down here in, in Florida. Uh, but even before that, man, like I was into sports, but like I said, I was, uh, overweight as a kid, you know, at, at my heaviest, I was 222, 225, mm-hmm. you know, which is not, not great when you're only 5'10". Yeah. And, uh, I wouldn't say I was rocked up, you know, I was... <laughs> I was pretty chubby. I was eating chicken tenders and mac and cheese, not not protein shakes and yeah. you know broccoli broccoli sprouts. So, uh, I got picked on as a kid. I got you know it wasn't it wasn't necessarily the best experience, but it really taught me how to be resilient, how to you know keep my head down and focus on what I need to focus on, so that I could get to where I want to go to kind of muddle out those distractions and those naysayers. Yeah. Um, That's awesome. What a- a- Sorry, one one thing, but a positive of that, right, on like the athletic side of things was because I wasn't the most athletic kid, right, I always had to really count on my technique, you know, so like when I played football, I was an offensive and defensive lineman, you know, but I was a small guy going up against some, you know, sometimes 330 pound kids that were going to go division one, so I wasn't going to beat them with brute strength, you know, I had to find other ways, I had to be really sharp with my technique, and you know, looking back on it, that, that type of mindset has really helped me in my, my personal training career and, you know, helping out my clients as well as like really, you know, technique oriented movement quality focused stuff has has been huge for me. It's, it's super important, I think, for people to realize how their, their childhood and what they went through plays out and characteristics that you develop over time. So that's, that's a huge insight. And then what, really made you want to get into the entire exercise physiology world knowing that you really only played football and you weren't uh you know a sports or a science you know none right. yeah i mean i i play i i i've actually always loved science you know believe it or not i i played football basketball and baseball in high school so uh i i was still well-rounded i just was a chubby non you know i had no hops i wasn't flexible yeah. <laughs> i could you know i couldn't run my my lungs were shit but you know again right i could always rely on that technique and and i was stronger than a lot of kids so i could body you know so that that helped in certain areas basketball baseball and football basketball baseball football yeah yeah i was actually five i was a five ten power forward believe it or not yeah Just, just rebounding and boxing out, man. Doing the dirty work. Rebounding in defense, man. I was, uh, I mean, I've been watching the, you know, the last dance, and I, oh, I, I've never felt, I've never felt more like Dennis Rodman, man. You know, like you, <laughs> you weren't gonna, you weren't gonna see me do the maybe put, you know, get up a putback, but you know, I grabbed those boards and. and that's you know, hilarious. We we played the same three sports in high school, then. That's really cool. Um, and yeah. I, I would agree that was, kind of. I wasn't on the the big or the, you know, the chubbier side. I was always the very small. Like I went into high school, I was five feet tall, a hundred pounds flat playing football. Wow. Um, I, I think I graduated, I weighed about 130 pounds, but I was five foot 11. So I was, I was a walking stick. Um, yeah. And very much in the same respect, I still am, but it was, uh, it was part of that that allowed me to understand like okay i have to use technique in order to be you know a little bit faster than these guys or just in the right place at the right time especially basketball right it's all about timing it's all about being in the right place spreading the defense that kind of thing so definitely just also but also probably but also probably your work ethic right like it wasn't it wasn't all just about technique like in order to refine your technique you had to put in the work you know when a lot of people weren't doing anything you know, and that's another thing that I think a lot of people forget, right? Especially when they're like paying personal trainers or they're paying for a program or they're paying for a, a diet plan. Like all that is, is a resource, like an outline for you, right? Like I tell my clients all the time, like, listen, if, if you could pay me and I could do all the work for you, I would do it. And I'd be a billionaire. 
right? Yeah. I'd be richer than I'd be richer than Bezos if I had if I had that magic pill. But I don't, you know. You have it's we're in this profession that's like very tricky, right? So if you're a car mechanic and someone comes in and they want you to fix your car, you fix their car and they, they come back and the car is fixed and they drive away, right? They don't really do any of the work. They just pay for the service and it's done. Same thing like for, you know, your groceries. You don't grow your food. Someone grows your food and delivers to the grocery store. You pick it up or get it delivered, whatever, right? In our field, in our profession, right, like I can tell you what to do. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, like you're the one that has to do the squats and the lunges and the cardio. And you're the one that has to not put food in your mouth and, you know. I can only tell you not to do those things. So really the emphasis all re- come, falls back on you, you That's know, much as people want to deflect blame, like you're in control of the, your actions. So I'm just there to say, Hey man, I'm there to really hold you accountable, mm-hmm. you know, but you're the one that has to put in the work. So same thing with athletics, right? Like you, you reap the rewards that of the work you put in, you know? So if, if you're not in the gym, every day or every other day and you're not making sure that your diet's on point you know we all lose sight of those things and you know everyone everyone has relapses but limiting those relapses and getting back on track that's all a personal you know reflection so, yeah it's a i think it's about not yeah, I think, for sure right, right and i think more people need to you know put that emphasis back on i mean it's like a cultural thing too right man like Today's day and age, a lot of kid, a lot of people, especially our age, like all they want to do is deflect blame and not put a lot of personal responsibility on themselves, and you know it shows, unfortunately. But yeah, it definitely shows. And speaking of our age, how old are you again? Twenty-eight. Okay. 20, I'll be twenty-nine in October. Okay, cool. So you got. Um, I, I'm twenty-four. I'll be twenty-five in um, December. So you got about four years on me. But um, where did? Uh, you went. You got. You got your master's at FAU, right? Yep. What, what did you get your master's in? Uh, exercise science and health promotion. My uh, concentration was in health promotion, like corporate wellness, uh, risk stratification, and and adherence strategies. Okay. So like, pretty much, I, like like Miami Dade could hire me. Uh, not anymore. I'm not certified, but they would have been able to hire me if I if I still had my my health promotion certification in order to, you know, find out what uh, health problems are going on in certain demographics and then, like, strategies in which you can, like, fix, fix yeah, implement them and fix, Got hopefully, it. you know, improve on some of those things, whether it be, like, you know, increasing the amount of public parks that are available for people to go to or, you know, free free community cooking classes so you can learn how to cook on a budget, all that type of stuff. Um, you know, is what I, I, I got my master's in because I was training athletes. So I had the strength and conditioning background already and I was getting enough reps in that. I wanted to kind of become a little more well-rounded and it's still something that I do for some of my clients companies. You know, I still do uh, some, some corporate consulting for them as well, trying to make sure that their, uh, their staff is as healthy and as productive as possible. That's awesome. That's something I want to get into. Um, I, I, currently am a health professional with a company that implements health solutions into like preventative and lifestyle medicine doctors, um, offices, yeah. so whether it's, you know, a pediatric physician or it's an ophthalmologist or it's a chiropractor, any health professional that's nationally recognized like myself, I'm an athletic trainer, right? So sure. I that background and that, um, a, that certification allows me to be a health professional with the company, but that's more of like my future is trying to get into, implementing health solutions because there's only so many people we can touch right in the course of a 24-hour day um and there it's it limits our ability to have a bigger impact on just society and anyone looking to live a healthier lifestyle so the more kind of you know lifestyle-based medicine doctors that we can kind of get out there the more that can you know impact people in a positive way because so many doctors too they can't even spend time with their clients because they have to run through so many, like every 15 minutes, they got to get someone in and out of the door. You know, you can't learn someone's health problems and issues and solve them in 15 minutes. That's why you just get a prescription. Right. Right. I think that's, now you you know, you got to have, you got to have Mendez on, you got to have Anthony Mendez come uh, and do a podcast because he's doing, he's doing some good stuff uh, around that same type of, 
uh, you know, topic matter with one of his clients companies. Uh, it's called Global Pro. They're like a Fortune 500 uh, like insurance uh, brokerage company. But he's doing like a ton of great stuff with them uh, on their like health and wellness, uh, productivity, all that stuff. Uh, yeah. you know, he's been working with them for a couple of years now. So you definitely got to have him out to talk about that stuff. Yeah, like, absolutely. Like, I'll definitely do that. And is he the one that you're starting your podcast with? Yeah. So actually, uh, you know, you'll be, I mean, we announced it on our Instagrams, but this will be like one of the first public platforms we announced it on. Mm-hmm. So we're going to now, uh, we're going to be launching the sweat it out podcast. Uh, actually this Friday, May 1st. Hey, all right. Gonna, yeah. We're going to be launching with five episodes. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, we're doing a launch party on our Instagram lives at 4 PM on Friday. So should be good. We're going to do a big giveaway and everything. So. Sweet. That's awesome. I'll definitely clip this then if you're all right with it and throw it out on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. For sure, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you. For sure, man. Of course. Anything. Yeah. We got to, we got to collaborate, right? Not, not compete. Yeah. You could easily be no. fighting for clients, but there's, there's yeah, no, nah, man, you know, it's all about helping people, you yeah. know, like can't have that scarcity mindset, you know, there's enough to go around. You'll always lose when that's the, when that's the intent that you go into anything with. Yeah, so what, okay. what's the overall um, goal of the podcast? What's, what's uh, the topic? Is it going to be just a dual hosted or are you going to have guests on? How's that going to work? So right now with, uh, everything that's kind of going on with the lockdown, it's it's going to be Mendez and myself just kind of going back and forth, having conversations, you know, asking questions with each other. Once all this lockdown is over, we're going to, you know, get together, be able to get this like live, this live uh, video thing going. We'll throw it up on YouTube. We're going to start bringing in some, some really cool guests. Uh, we have some lined up already. That's awesome. Uh, that I'm, yeah, that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, you know, the, the overall topic, obviously we're health and fitness professionals. So there's going to be a lot of, a lot of going back and forth on, on, you know, workout tips and best practices, nutrition, recovery, sleep, all that good stuff. But we also dive into, you know, mindset, you know, Mendez is really big on making sure that his clients and the people that he works with have set that foundational intention, right? with whatever they're doing. I do the same thing. So we dive into a little bit of that. We get into, you know, our business practices, how we developed our, our one-on-one training businesses, how we developed our online businesses, cool. affiliate marketing. So it's a, it's great because, you know, him and I play really well off mm-hmm. with each other. Like I've known him for, since going back to 2015 when I started at Equinox. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's been a, yeah, it's been a long time that him and I have, you know, been chopping it up and we have some really great conversations where we thought it'd be, you know, now more than ever, it's the right time to, to put it out there for everyone and, for sure. and see what happens, man. No, that'll be awesome. That'll definitely be a lot of great content. So you'll have to connect me with him. Um, so yeah, definitely. talk with him about uh, Global Pro, Nutrimetrics, all that concepts, um, all yeah. those, those corporate wellness kind of programs. It's a lot yeah. to go around, man. There's a lot of opportunity in this. Yeah, man. I mean, listen, there, there will always be people that need help, right? It's just about finding your niche, finding the people that you want to help and that need your help in the first place. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, and then getting after it, put in the work and finding, you know, the best ways that you can, you can go about that. Yeah, for sure. And I, I think it's important for people to, to realize and recognize, right. Just like you have. And the first time I had met with you and sat down, um, you just talked about like, keep chipping away, man just chip away every single day, every single, you know, opportunity you get, take advantage of it. And if you miss one, like, that's all right. There's another one coming around the corner. Um, And I think it's important for people to realize like every decision that you make is an opportunity to piggyback off of the next time. Right. Uh, You have a good meal. Okay. Now I can piggyback. Now I had two good meals in a row. Now I feel way better. Now I might sleep better that sleep is going to lead to a more productive morning and it's going to cycle and cycle and cycle through. And that's, that's kind of the concept of, you know, my brand limitless theory and just the ability to understand that I myself am not limitless, but there's limitless opportunities. And from the perspective of the people 200 years ago, making the decisions they made allowed us to be in this place, right? That guy doesn't try to make, uh, you know, light bulbs for, 
14 days straight. He never comes up with a light bulb. That changes human history forever, you know? Right. Those kind yeah. of those sort of concepts and just taking a, a big grand picture um, perspective, taking that step back is, is huge for people, I think. Um, and in terms of, you know, everything – that's going on right now it's it's just important to realize there is always something to do you can always take advantage of something that's going on whether it's helping people or just getting deeper in your thoughts getting your mindset right so when you go back to everyday life you're you're in a better place but yeah and i think you know like you said you know thomas edison who who made the light bulb right like uh, he didn't make a perfect light bulb that first time no. you know he probably looked probably looked terrible the first couple times didn't work didn't light you know lit to brid blew up didn't light bright enough you know the didn't screw in properly you know fuse was too big too small so too many people are so focused on doing it right the first time yeah right like okay if i'm going to do something it needs to be this streamlined thing to success when you know, they realize that in other areas of their life, it, you know, it doesn't work like that. Like with their occupation, they know, like if you're a banker, you know, you weren't always this like high level CEO or executive or, you know, manager. You started out on the ground floor or you started out in school and you had to work and you had to, you know, you had to find what worked and what didn't work. And what you're doing with your health and, and what you're doing in general in your life is no different no matter what it is, right? Like, you're going to have these, these waves, these ups and downs, you know, things are going to work. They're not going to work. But if you're not, again, putting things into action from the beginning, you're definitely going to get nowhere. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like even like what Michael Jordan said, right? Like you never make, you, you never make the shots you don't take. So I was literally, I, I posted that on Facebook today. And yeah. the other thing I posted, right. Was if you aim at nothing, you will hit it. I was like, Damn, that's a good freaking quote, man. Like if you're yeah, just, just aimlessly doing stuff, you're going to yeah. aimlessly do nothing your entire life. Yeah. Yeah. I see, I see a whole lot of people that are busy, right? But are they productive? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's two, two different things. Super busy. Oh, but, you know, I'm super busy. Yeah. You know, have... they might be busy. They might be busy, but like, what are you doing? Yeah. Busy doing what, right? Yeah. I mean, there's things to do in this world and to go back yeah. one more time, right. To Thomas Edison, he was creating something that had never been created before something that no one would really believe in. So he's being judged by every single person in the world that he knows. Why are you spending your time making something that doesn't even exist? Like that's, you, you, right. you're, you're just chasing a rabbit that you're never going to catch. And so many people now are like afraid to put a video on Instagram when 99% of the people they follow are never even going to see it, right? Like no, yeah. <laughs> nobody in the world's even going to know that that went out there. And they're worried about the judgment that's going to come back and, and cause them grief of some kind. But um, in terms of, uh, I have one more question in terms of, you know, where people can find you. Is there anything that you want to throw out there, your website, your handle, all of that jazz? Yeah. So right now you can find me on Instagram at the movement coach. So at T H E M V M T C O A C H, the movement coach. Uh, you can also go to my website. Same thing as my Instagram, the M V M T coach.com. That's where you can find my online weekly workout subscription, my programs, my courses. You'll find my, my resources, blogs, everything there. Uh, and then, you know, the Sweat It Out podcast we're going to launch on Friday. So, you know, you'll be able to hear a lot from me on there, running and my mouth and everything. So. And it'll have its own Instagram and everything as well? Yep. Cool. Um, so I will tag all of that down below so people can go. Talk to me. Yeah. Appreciate it. Of course. Um, last question. If there were three people you could hang out with for a day in uh, this kind of pandemic that's going on, right? Three people you could hang out with for one day. You get 24 hours with them. You get to sleep at their place, wake up, see what they do all day. Who are those three people? Alive or dead? They have to be alive. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say alive. I'm gonna say alive. Uh, Specifically mm -hmm. through this time that we're in right now. 
Damn, that's a good question, man. Um, yeah. All right. First, first person I'd want to see is uh, is Bill Belichick, right? I want to see how that guy. I want to see his. I want to see what his routines look like. You know, like the things he does day in and day out that never change. I want to know what those are because those have to be dialed into a T. E. You oh, know? Yeah. To a T. I'm not a Patriots fan. I grew up like a, a Bills fan, so. And you, that, you, know, you, you grew up a Bills the fan, and you worked for the Giants for a little bit, correct? Uh, I worked for Syracuse. Oh, I worked for Syracuse. okay. Yeah. yeah, one of my friends played for the Giants, Ryan Nassau, for a little bit. Oh, Justin Fields. All right. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, so uh, Belichick, number one. That's a good one. That's a yeah, good one. Belichick. Um, in our field, Dr. John Russin. You know, I really expect, I really respect that guy. Uh, you know, great. He he's actually a, a physical therapist as well, strength coach. Mm-hmm. You know, from Buffalo originally, so got to respect that upstate New York oh, yeah. uh, bloodline. You know, but again, right? Like one of the smartest guys in our field. You know, his work ethic is on point. Always, you know, helping people out. So, you know, just another person I'd really like to see what their routines are and see like how they go about things. You know, yeah, without a doubt. Uh, and thirdly, damn, uh, mm, you know, my sister, celebrity. my sister. Oh, oh. Okay. yeah, I got to keep her in track. Celebrity. <laughs> right, who's a cele- who's a celebrity? Mm. Got to keep her sister on track. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, got to keep her focused. She's in college now. So she's probably thinking she got to slack her out. Okay. I got uh, Yeah. Yeah. Who- but, uh, Celebrity, just for the fun of it. Celebrity. Mm. You know, I think that I would like to hang out with, like, uh, you know, like Ryan Reynolds or someone like that. I think that, like, I got chop it up with them. And, like, and I'm a, I am like to I like to joke around. I like to dick around. You know, I'm always, like, yeah. busting my friend's balls and everything. So, <laughs> you know, I think that he would kind of be able to keep up with me and we, we would have a good time. Or, or you know, someone like, uh, you know, like Burt Kreischer. Or, okay. uh, uh, you know, uh, who's another one? Who's another good comedian that I really like? Uh, um, who does? Uh, I feel like you would definitely want to hang out with Joe Rogan. Yeah, but Joe's a little older. You know, I'm yeah. trying to find someone a little younger. Yeah. Who's a? Uh, oh God, why can't? Why can't I think of his name? Oh, it's gonna bother me. I don't know. I can't remember. But, <laughs> but yeah, something like some like young comedian, maybe like uh, Andrew Schultz. I think is really funny. I don't know if you. Okay. Know Andrew yeah. Schultz. Yeah, Andrew. He's hilarious. He's around our age, you know. So yeah. he's great. Yeah, totally agree. That guy's crazy. Yeah, he's a New Yorker. He's a New Yorker too, man. So yeah, I, I gotta respect that. His accent is wild, and he has yeah. no filter whatsoever. Yeah, I don't either, man. Though, so I love it. I'm I I like cry laughing listening to him. So. All right. That's cool. That's what's up. Have, I'm assuming you know Sebastian Maniscalco. Yeah. Got to yeah. Got to appreciate his humor, especially that New Jersey, New York kind of. Uh, yeah. Meter. Yeah, I'm a big fan of comedy, man. I love comedy. That's awesome. know, I, I can think it's a, a art form that we can never lose. That's a good point, right? Got to laugh more. Live, laugh, yeah. love, man. Live, laugh, love. Well, thank you for taking the time out of your day, man. I hope uh, everything continues to go well for you. I hope you stay safe. Um, things should start to open back up, um, you know, as of this week. So, yeah. you know, we're yeah, same here, man. I hope you. I hope the same for you. Stay busy, stay safe, and Thanks, gotta get a workout in soon. That would be awesome, man. If we can hit uh, yeah. freaking Miami Beach or something and, and get out there, that would be awesome. I'd I'd make the drive in a heartbeat. So. Yeah, for sure, man. We'll set it up. All right, man. Well. Uh, All right. At the least, you know, thank you. And um, yeah, I'm gonna link you with Mendez too. Uh, right. Will you, will you send me your? I don't know if I have your number or not. So yeah, will you send I'll me send me to you. Yeah. No, All sir. right. Cool. All right. All right. Perfect. Man. Appreciate you. No worries, man. Have a great rest of your day, and to everyone listening. Cool. Until next time, be limitless. Peace out. Peace out. My goal with this LT360 podcast is not only to bring you the best guests, stories, and lessons, but also the best products and services that span all markets and industries that will allow you to create a limitless lifestyle day in and day out. So 
Listen in for these amazing deals. Shout out to all my fellow athletes and health enthusiasts out there. Did you know that your typical average pill or capsule based vitamin or supplement takes anywhere from 48 to 72 hours to actually be broken down in your stomach and begin to get digested and upon digestion about 70 percent of what is on the label is going to be utilized by the body so stop wasting your time and money on basic everyday vitamins it's time that you start to understand the science behind it and it's time that i introduce you guys to isotonics isotonics brings to you the world's most advanced nutraceuticals they are taking science to a whole nother level when it comes to vitamins and supplementation a true holistic approach iso means same and tonic means pressure so these isotonic vitamins which are powders that you mix with water are going to be recognized by the body as blood sweat or tears and when you digest them they get bypassed through the stomach straight into the small intestine so absorption can begin in less than five minutes on an empty stomach 90 percent of what is on the nutrition label can be absorbed in just under 30 minutes It's something that is unprecedented and unmatched in the industry. You cannot feel the difference with vitamins like you can feel the difference with isotonics. So the delivery matters. And to give you guys proof, I want you to be able to check out and learn for yourself and experience it yourself feel that isotonics difference so head over to shop.com or isotonics.com backslash limitless theory and check out all of the amazing amazing isotonics vitamins and supplements that you can get your hands on and get 10 percent off your first order using code 10 off m a 10 o f f m a all capitalized at checkout for 10% off and just know when you start to buy isotonics on a regular basis not only will you get 10% off your first order and additional orders in the future you will also get 2% cash back on anything you spend and if you put it on auto ship, you can save an additional 5% on every order. The opportunities are endless and the difference is felt. So make sure to go get yourself some isotonics and start to feel the difference for yourself. Limitless Fitness family, this one is for you. If you are a weekend warrior, a fitness enthusiast, a fitness professional, or an athlete, young or old, it does not matter if you are trying to get fit or stay fit or improve your fitness levels, head over to ck1bands.com and grab yourself a pair or set or single band because a resistance band is one of the most efficient pieces of fitness equipment that you can use anytime, anywhere, any place, and you can bring with you almost anywhere you travel. So head over to ck1bands.com and use the code LIMITLESS, all capitalized, for a special discount at checkout. Please go support Chris, everything he's doing. Chris Capon was a high school teammate of mine a lifelong friend, and the first guest on the LT360 podcast. He is the creator and founder of CK1 Sports. If you have not listened to that podcast, I highly suggest you go do that. And after you do, or while you are listening or watching it, head over to ck1bands.com and grab yourself some bands. I use these things every day with my clients, and they never disappoint.
What's up, Limitless Theory Tribe? Hope you enjoyed the episode. I wanted to take a second to give you an opportunity to save 10% off on anything in the Limitless Theory apparel store. Everything from beach towels to coffee mugs, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and tank tops, and much, much more new styles rolling out all the time. Use code LT10 at checkout for 10% off LT10 at checkout, all capitalized. For 10% off anything Limitless Theory apparel related. And all you have to do is take a picture and tag us so that you can get 10% off again next time. Peace. What's up, LT Tribe? DFOS here. Just to express my gratitude and say thank you for tuning in and continuously commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing to the episodes and the content that we are bringing you. It is helping so, so much. Once again, I want to say thank you and hope you have a great rest of your day.